Right, here we are, um, Three Cliffs Bay, and uh, resorting to sketches more uh, this summer. I'm working from my sketch pad, and uh, I want to get a, a lovely sort of evening sort of uh, sky. It's my can't uh, beat Gower, can you? And so, what I want to do is get that in there, then I want to get a nice red in as well. Because I wetted the paper first, it's given me a chance because um, it parts won't start to dry and speed is everything. And I'm working outside, it's a beautiful day, but it does mean that um, you're going to battle with speed. So I do want to be more than about three minutes with this or uh, nasty things will start happening. Parts will start drying before other parts and I'll end up then with um, uh, what's called cauliflowers and um, so right now the nap bit is done so what I want to do is I put in a watercolour that's more neat now so more on the purple side and uh, towards the horizon there. So the red I put in was like a backdrop and the yellow that was as well. Now then what I can do is get it more on the blue side for up here. So it's uh, again the light blue is acting like a, a backdrop. Uh, this is more or less staying where I'm putting it because it's drying off now. I haven't got long. I, I reckon I've got about half a minute to finish this before uh, nasty things start happening and uh, I can see it starting to dry off now already so we haven't got long to get this in so uh, yeah that's about it I think don't want much more than that it's going to dry a lot lighter than this so it's not going to be uh, in your face it's going to be very subtle sort of evening evening glows how uh, about that? And uh, we don't want much more than, than that. That's done. Now it's time to get on with the actual cliffs. So uh, what I want is a, a lighter sort of colour. I've mixed together here uh, sienna, light red, raw sienna, light red. I'm just putting that more or less, getting the different shapes in. I don't... Uh, and then, now that I've done that, we will make a little bit more red in there. A bit more red in there. Now, let's get to the blue and see what we've got here. And more or less a straight edge along there. So we're going to... There one. You can see what's happening. The blue is merging with that red that I put on and uh, you've got what's called wet in wet where you let the colours just more or less merge together. Now over here we've got a bit of green so let's get that in there now. A bit of grass coming down there and a little bit up on there too so we'll just put that in there like that. But you more or less Got this fairly, fairly level. And uh, what I want to do now is get some of the stronger colours in that I'll get a bit of definition in. So what it means, I'm using less water, a lot more paint, and you'll see what will happen. So it's less water, it's more paint. And here we go. Let's, um, now we've got a piece under there. I want to accentuate it. And there as well. So, it's, I've still got this softness. Um, going on. And what I can do is drag it like that. Look, see? That's, I'm dragging the brush on its heel. 
and uh, so although a little fine brush there again can cover a lot of ground so I'm getting that different texture in and uh, there we are. that's all there is to it not much more than than that basically that needs to be a bit darker up on here again you can use the rigger brush on its heel and uh, it's covered a lot of ground now about that then that's uh, three cliffs bay there and what we'll do we'll take a large brush now and get the sand effect in very very quickly don't want to be long with this again I'm, I'm being very rough very quick just to show you how watercolor can be quite relaxing really and not you know people are afraid of watercolors and there's no need to be afraid it's only a piece of paper some water so no need to be afraid at all as long as you take areas at a time like I am here you big enough brushes so you know I'm going to get the sand effect that's around me here as well you've got the stream that comes in here if you know three cliffs at all you'll know uh, children sort of paddle here and and it's a uh, how about that then not better than that now while that is drying what I can do is mix red and a bit of blue and uh, just get the edges in here and again let it let it merge just let it what you can do is try the brush and take it over there more so it's going soft again that's what you want you want you want these soft edges soft edges like that and what I can do is get this bigger brush now for this blue effect and dark color effect that we got going on here and let's get it in here like that there we go so big sweep brush not don't don't hang around no and you've got a sense of recession later on I'll be getting some dunes up in here without view but that gives you a good idea well uh, here's the uh, finished painting uh, I've put some of the uh, dune in here to balance the cliff some figures to give it a bit of scale and um, I'm just we're so blessed that I was ministering in the mumbles for a number of years and uh, amongst the lovely people and lovely church and uh, to have these areas of Gower more or less at your doorstep you could walk through the estate where we live down to Caswell Bay and uh, how blessed uh, we, we were we thank God for uh, our time there uh, preaching the gospel there uh, that was before I moved to Cardiff and then from Cardiff to Tembe uh, surprising uh, I feel like I've lived about 10 lives uh, looking back um, but our times are with the Lord and uh, for them we're just uh, uh, so so thankful uh, yeah yeah our times are at the moment I'm just having to draw upon my sketch pad and make the most of just being nearer to home but um, yeah perhaps I'll, I'll just show you uh, flip through my sketch pad you can see what I base these paintings on 